Power, we are back with a very special video today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 most incredible houses that you won't believe exist. Now, growing up, I used to watch MTV Cribs, I used to watch a lot of house shows, and myself, I'm a mansion type of person. Like, I love looking at different architecture and different houses, and I can't wait to give y'all my house tour one day. Like, one day, I'm going to give y'all my house tour MTV Cribs style where I open up the door, I fake like I ain't know y'all was going to appear and then y'all kick y'all out like y'all gotta get out of here y'all seen the mtv careers episodes so i cannot wait to see these houses but anyways y'all if you're new to the channel please like no watch the video first y'all and then like comment subscribe subscribe to the power family for more basketball nba also the content every single day make sure y'all social distancing washing your hands and staying at home if you can because man I, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to get back in the groove of things my sleep schedule is all i'm going to bed like at two three o'clock in the morning then i'm waking up at seven eight nine o'clock in the morning and it, it, it just messing with my whole vibe right now and i'm doing videos sporadically we need to get back to normal schedule programming very soon hopefully we could do that but anyways y'all let's get straight into the video let's not waste any more time let's get it popping like five so the 10 most unbelievable houses let's see what we got here we're gonna be looking at 10 of those incredible houses you won't believe let's go i can't wait everything when it comes to living spaces big and small wide and narrow yeah and even underwater and underwater stay tuned all the way to the end what are we getting ourselves into number 10 the house on the, the rock. house on the rock. When we think of houses surrounded by water, we either think Yo, what of the water heck? island living. Well, the first unique house That's on more this like... list is in the middle of the water, but it's standing on a rock. What? You can find it on the Drina River in Serbia. It got people's attention. That would be mad annoying. Big publications such as the Daily Mail and National Geographic. That would be super annoying having to freaking sail your boat every time to your house every single day. Like, what if you just want to go up the street and get a little snack? And that takes five minute walk from there. And you have to freaking roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream just to go somewhere. I'll wait until you hear the story behind oh. it. Oh. It all happened back in 1968 when a group of friends, tired of swimming against the current of the Drina River, decided to get some rest on top of the rock. <laughs> They immediately got bothered by the rough surface of the rock and went back to the shore to bring back some boards on which they could lay on. Mm. Right after that, they decided to put the boards vertically and use them as cover. And just like that, this group that, of boys came up with the idea for a house on top of that's the That's pretty smart. The house is that's now one of smart. Serbia's most treasured places. It's a great spot. To I mean, that's not that's not me personally. I wouldn't want that, but that's a Number smart nine, idea, though. The Carrot House. The Carrot House. I told you we have some narrow houses on this list. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Carrot House. Oh, whoa. The narrowest house in the world. This is a narrow this house? This space was created by Jacob Seseni, a Polish architect who claims this is the world's narrowest house with only 122 centimeters long at its widest point. Oh. And don't let the looks fool you. This house is narrow, but this attribute is what makes it so space efficient and interesting. That's interesting. According to Seseni, all the furniture had to be perfectly customized and pushed to fit into this space. It's designed for one single inhabitant for someone who likes to work and stay at home. Okay, then. More specifically, I this house is designed for traveling riders Unless you're to claustrophobic or something like that, it wouldn't be the place sense. for you, but... If you don't stand so close, you're making me claustrophobic. Number, number eight. The Hobbit, the Hobbit House. house. All right, now, I think I've seen this house before. Homes and I think I've seen this one world. before. After all, the J.R.R. Tolkien saga really made an impact on society, and it only makes sense to bring these spaces to life. Yeah. The Hobbit house I have on this list is the one in Wales. That's a that's because a little warm, cool eco house. Friendly and most that's impressively, a little cool house. It only took four months. I wouldn't probably to live in it. I'd probably go visit that house. But for the yeah, it looks cool. It. Number seven, the glass, the glass house. house. See, no. How would you feel if instead of walls, you just no. had windows all around your room? It's especially if you like to rough house around, you break one thing, your whole house is falling apart. I don't want to have to be dealing with that. You run after somebody, they accidentally fall, break into the glass, your whole house shatters. That it'll be a big old mess. But let's be honest, you would benefit a lot from that natural light coming through. Now I do agree For with that. Designer in Tokyo, I want my this crazy idea turned into in the reality house. when he built the glass house, also known as House N A. As its name implies, this house is fully that, surrounded by that glass looks pretty cool, walls though. and a treehouse-like structure. 
There's a bit of climbing to do when it comes to accessing the rooms. Instead of going through doors, you go up and down the ladders to get to where you want to be. Yeah, okay, that's pretty this nice. This floor building that's definitely nice. sounds like the adult and modern version of a treehouse. Yeah, that seems like a treehouse. There's no way you're going to miss it. Oh, that's it. in Japan, too. I know Japanese houses are quite different in general when you compare yeah, Japanese to houses, houses around the world. Yeah, Japanese houses, they are next level, bro. They got domes and houses and stuff. Number I want to live six. in Japan one day. Falling water. Follow Sometimes water. when you go hiking, Ooh. you come across places where you'd really like that's to set beautiful. up a camp and stay for a while. That's beautiful. Sometimes your obsession with that That's like in the middle so of nowhere. Big. I don't want to be attacked by no bear. This house actually stands in harmony with its natural surroundings to the oh, point okay. where it's now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built by architect Frank that Lloyd looks nice. under the ownership The architecture the on there is like... Prior to this Next house, level. this space was an abandoned summer camp where the Goffmans would spend their holidays. This house hides in the forest, and if you look closely, you might even think it's part of nature itself. Ooh. The rocks in the area served as a foundation, and the house was coated in earthy tones to make it blend with the forest. Yeah, it, it looks like it's a part of the forest and part of nature itself. So intricate how they did that. Today you can it's schedule a tour of the that. house, so you should definitely add it to your list of places to see if you ever want to make your way to Pennsylvania. I might go there. I might Number visit five, The airplane The house. airplane house. Apparently airplanes are not only good for flying I know you can make an airplane ocean, out of a house. Make for well, I guess spaces. you can make anything out of a house, really. No. Flying days, it was brought to Costa Rica and was turned into a two-bedroom home with amazing ocean views and the lush tropical rainforest. After all, you can only expect like, to have a lot of windows by transforming I'm not gonna lie, why would you live there, though? Bedroom. Clock Tower House. Clock Tower Next on this list, a house inside a clock tower in one of the That's most iconic cities in the but United States. But at the same States. time, you know how the clock dings at midnight or whatever? I don't want to hear that in my house. It feel like an earthquake probably. This 650 square meter penthouse is one of the most expensive houses ever sold in the whole Brooklyn borough in New York. Mm. It was first listed at $25 million back in 2010 when it was put in the market. The price slowly did come down and it was finally sold at $15 million. Okay. Through the clock, you can get a unique view of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, making it a very iconic spot for anyone who loves the Big Apple. I guess the owner of the house is never late to appointments. I mean, you can't be late when you live inside a clock, am I right? Haha, <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> funny the Flintstones joke. house. And once again, another okay, house inspired the by things you watch on the screen. The Flintstones. I like how they flip these um, houses that are on TV and back movies, in the old days, there was a and they put them in real life. I really love to see stuff like that if come to fruition in real life. Yeah, your family it's pretty interesting. In Stone Age. If you haven't watched it, you should check it out. The show is quite a phenomenon. To but the I don't think I wouldn't really live in under the Flintstones. Flintstones I live back in a caveman. You can find this residence in Hillsboro, California, and it was even declared a public nuisance. It's more of a museum. Look, there's no way you'll miss it. More of a golf. It looked like a golf course. Very nice statues of dinosaurs outside, paying homage to the Stone Age setting in which the Flintstones lived. The picture I have today gives us the illusion of underwater living. Yo! After all, water can be very calm and inspiring, and humans can never get enough of it, so why not live in it, am I right? Is that- I went and searched for some of the most amazing houses that are connected to water, okay. and I came across the Floating Seahorse. The Floating Seahorse. Number two. Number two. The Floating Seahorse. Okay, we're- the floating Okay, seahorse we're getting is somewhere. Home off the coast of Dubai. Ooh, Dubai, okay. It's inside a group of man-made islands called Europe that are part of a bigger group called the This world. is next level. Each of this these islands level. are smaller versions of countries from around the globe. The floating seahorse is part of Great Britain. Anyone living in it can enjoy ooh. waking up to the sound of calming and waves they got a and get lost on ocean views that will take anyone's breath Whoa. away. Whoa! At the lower part, it'll feel like you're actually living underwater what? and you can have some tea while looking at a very what? exotic whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me, you're telling me that this house is literally underwater and that while you're taking a crap, some fish or shark is gonna look at you, take a crap. What? I don't know about that part. I am messing with the house. I am digging the house, but it is gonna be a little bit scary. You taking a bath or you taking a shower or using the restroom and then you just got fish and open water. Like what if a whale comes by or a shark knocks bangs on a glass? Like it's game over from there. Who needs a garden or something like that when you can have a coral reef? Yo, the floating seahorse is to I'm not gonna lie, that's low key market. scary there though. Floating houses being that's made. low key scary though. I guess Dubai really took it one step further when it comes to the concept of houses. This technology will surely come in handy if the end of the world includes massive flooding. Number, Number one. one. The egg house. The egg house? I what? Told you I'd show you houses you wouldn't believe exist, and here's one that's really going to blow up your mind. What? The egg house in Beijing, China. 
This odd piece of architecture the... was a man's response to China's rising real estate prices. Is that prices. for- are you for real? When this man couldn't find an affordable home, he went out on the sidewalk and made this egg-shaped home. Hmm. I mean, what else do you need for survival when you have a bed and a roof over you? And probably egg-shaped as well. Low-key? He even has lights and books. Yo, low-key? USA need this type of houses. The homeless population is very large in many countries and the USA as well. So what if we provided them with houses like these? Like we don't even have to provide them with like the big old houses or like shelters in it or anything. Like everybody could literally have their own house if we build houses like these. So I, I kind of find this house pretty interesting. It threw me through a loop at first. I really wasn't messing with it. But then the concept came to me that we could really use these for people who can't afford houses or apartments or big spaces to stay. So this would be a great idea to implement for people who can't afford like literally big houses. The most impressive thing that it only cost him $964 to make it and it's powered by solar energy. Oh, solar it's energy? It's actually a pretty good steal right That there. really is. This story really shows us that we can make a home wherever we want as long as we're committed okay, to Okay, I'm it. messing and with that. I'm definitely messing with the last house. I wasn't at first, but then it only cost 900 something dollars to make and it's solar power. I think that would be a very good investment for the USA for people who are homeless or can't find any homes to stay in. And plus you could make rent like dirt cheap. All the houses on these lists were unique. I couldn't believe most of them. Like they even had an airplane house, but I, my, I think my favorite one was the underwater one but that low-key scared me because i don't want any i don't want to make eye contact with any fishes or sharks while i'm taking a dump like uh, 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 uh. anyways y'all let me know which house which unbelievable house did you like the most it's your boy jay Powell. leave a like comment subscribe subscribe to the power family for more basketball nba all sorts of content every single day i hope you enjoyed this video and that it put a smile on your face hopefully y'all doing well social distancing watching our hands and so we could we we could get this quarantine over with so we could get right back to normal in this world but anyways y'all thank you for the support dream it believe it live it mama mentality forever Cue that kobe song baby okay. Okay. Kobe doing work. Two four on my shirt, he the greatest on the